Okay, now that we got the push rods built, we have the two 12 inch push rods with the Z-Bends attached to one end and the two aileron push rods with the Z-Bends attached to one end. That's 070 carbon. And then we have uh, two Z-Bends and two uh, pieces of three quarter inch heat shrink tube for the ailerons and two Z-Bends and two pieces of one inch heat shrink tube for the elevator and the rudder. Now the the the, uh, the servos here are uh, set up in pairs so this one right here will be for the ailerons and on um, for leverage on this the arm length we want it 16 to 18 millimeters from the center. On the elevator and rudder servo we want the elevator at 10 to 12 millimeters out from the center and uh, the rudder we want 5 to 7 millimeters out from the center in the servos. And the servos I'm using here come in the uh, works pack. Uh, they're JRS 185 servos. I believe they're about 6 grams and uh, 12 ounces of torque or so. And uh, we have the GB here all framed up and ready to go. We're going to start on the ailerons and uh, put these push rods aside and the uh, elevator and rudder servo. I'm going to take some tape and I'm going to stick the aileron so that it's sitting level. And I'll go ahead and do that on both ailerons now. We'll install the uh, two inch carbon with the Z-Bend into the control horn from the outside. Be careful not to break it off. Twist it in there. We're going to find the servo that has the lead, the uh, lead coming forward. And the horn will be point, pointing out. So it's going to sit like that. Now we'll take the piece of three quarter inch shrink tubing and slide it over the carbon as far as you can get it. And then I want you to poke the wire into the carbon and we're going to get about a six millimeter gap between the end of the carbon and uh, the uh, control horn on the servo. And that will go for all the control horns. You want to get the, the carbon about six millimeters away. Now we'll take the regular CA, not the, not the foam safe. And I'm going to put a glue, apply some glue to the carbon and the uh, wire. Slide the shrimp tubing forward all the way up to the end of the carbon. And with a little piece of aluminum foil to protect the foam from heat placed underneath the, the shrink tubing. Now I'm going to just apply just a little bit of heat with a, a lighter, just enough to hold it. Let it cool. Remove this and pull it away from the foam to, to finish it off. You don't want to melt the foam. Now we'll take the foam safe CA and the servo's already been roughened up. I've taken an exacto knife and scratched the, the surface just a little bit. I'm going to apply the foam safe CA to the servo, a little bit of accelerator to the wing, and uh, we'll go ahead and place the servo just behind the spar. Nice and level. It's like contact cement when you do it that way. So you want to hold it above, make sure that it's coming 90 degrees off of the hinge line and that the horn is 90 degrees off of the servo and stick it on there and that's permanent. Now we'll do the same thing on the other side. We'll do the, the same rudder. for the rudder and the elevator. We'll place the Z-bend into the control horn on the rudder on this one. 
Grab the appropriate servo. This one is going to have again the lead coming forward, the servo lead coming forward. And uh, again the rudder is placed, it's very important here, the rudder is placed 5 to 7 millimeters out from the center of the, the horn. So you see it's, it's right up on the innermost hole. Slide your carbon or your uh, shrink tubing over the carbon. Use a little bit of the regular CA. Place it uh, on the carbon. Lay the steel of the wire on the carbon and put the shrink tubing over it. Again, you're looking for that six millimeter gap between the end of the carbon and the Z-Bend. You want to make sure that it's going to lay flat up against the fuselage like so. And it's all done. But I'm going to hold it away from the foam a bit. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, shrink this heat shrink up. Put the airplane on its wing tip. A little difficult for you to see in there with the wheel pan. But it's going to sit just like that, right up against the, the wing. And I'm going to have to do, do it like this, just out of view, so that the glue doesn't run. But just like I did on the ailerons, I'll apply just a little bit of glue to the servo. Spray the foam. In this case, I have to hold the rudder level. There's nothing really to tape. So when I get the servo just about ready and I'm holding that rudder perfectly straight, servo's lined up, looks good. Just like so. Everything's lined up good. Press it good and tight. Do the same thing with the elevator. Push rod through. Slide the shrink tubing over. Take the servo again with the lead coming forward. Slide the shrink tubing over the wire. Apply a little bit of the regular CA. Again, right, right at this point, I'm just gluing the wire Z-bend to the end of the carbon, and it doesn't matter where the elevator is. We're just making sure that the servo is laying flat up against the, the fuselage. And then we'll just touch it with the lighter. Pull it out a little bit further away so we don't melt the foam. Very good. Now we'll put a little bit of the, the foam safe CA on the servo. Spray the fuselage. Again, we're going to have to hold the elevator. Get it up on its wing tip. We're going to hold the elevator level. And I'm doing it by gripping it between uh, like splitting my fingers between the rudder and gripping it like that and that holds it nice and level and you can feel if it's moving so good it's locked in there now I can concentrate toward the the front once I know that's level concentrate toward the front set the servo down looks good looks good start to press it okay press it on there Good, and our servos are mounted. Piece of cake. Let's go ahead and remove the tape from the ailerons. Get this side off of here. Good. And our ailerons are working free. 